And sometimes niggas, you should know when to shut the fuck up because <laughs> I be saying shit like, uh, I wonder how high I could actually get. And if you say that around uh, some niggas, they, we all just laugh and move on. <laughs> Nigga, you crazy. But uh, <laughs> your white friends take that shit seriously and they got answers for your questions and shit. You might <laughs> want to be careful and shit. What's up guys? Hope you're all doing good. So I'm back this time for good. I am feeling 100% now, so yeah, buzzing. Um, guys, yeah, so Cat Williams to start today. I'm going to do another Cat Williams one straight after, but I'm going to release that for the members early and you guys will get that tomorrow. Um, so I think it's like a minute and a half clip. It's the one about the crocodile hunter, Steve Irwin. So yeah, I'll get that one done as well. And I'll get a different one done tomorrow and upload that as well. So you'll probably get two tomorrow. Just because one of them being such a short video, it should only take me half an hour to turn it around. Um, but guys, yeah, let's jump straight into this one. This is one that's Cat Williams, the vaporizer. Oh, sorry, I do want to say before I jump into this, I'm going to be streaming the Conor McGregor, Dustin Poirier fight on Saturday night. Obviously, I can't show it, but I'll be doing like live commentary, watch along and all that. So if you don't, guys don't want to pay for it, I will be and um, obviously talk you through the fight or whatever. So yeah, more than welcome to join along for that. But yeah, let's just jump straight into it. We just gonna have to deal with the shit we gotta deal with. Make sure you have as much fucking fun as you can. I get in trouble because I be trying to have too much fun and I be telling black people you need to get you some white friends but you have to be careful with your white friends. Your white friends will get you fucked up accidentally sometimes. <laughs> like, uh, everybody know I like weed. Everybody know I think it's fantastic. Well, my... My white friends fucked me up on the shit because they was like, we got something that's really fantastic. And I was like, well, weed is already really fantastic. I don't know how you go out fantastic, fantastic. Uh, and sometimes niggas, you should know when to shut the fuck up because I be saying shit like, uh, I wonder how high I could actually get. And if you say that around uh, some niggas, they, we all just laugh and move on. <laughs> Nigga, you crazy. But uh, your white friends friends take that shit seriously and they got answers for your questions and shit you might want to be careful and shit because uh, my white friends introduced me to something called the vaporizer and um uh, as a public service announcement niggas this is um this is the real deal right here this is uh, a lot of shit is bullshit this is not one of them uh nigga this is star trek the next generation right here this is a new frontier i was not fucking ready it come in a black box and shit and uh you put the weed in there and then they plugged it in the wall now <laughs> soon as i saw them plug it into the wall i realized i had already crossed my motherfucking boundary uh, <laughs> i'm standing there with a lighter in my motherfucking hand like <laughs> This motherfucker is no bullshit. It got real knobs on it. You don't put it on warm. It's like an oven. You put it on a real temperature, like 375, like Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix numbers. And it ain't got no fire and no smoke, which really fuck with me because if, if you smoke weed, the, the smoke is your way of knowing when not to go too far. You can't really go too far because when you've achieved maximum highness, your lungs will let you know. That's when you can't catch the cough. When you... <laughs> <laughs> but this, this don't have no smoke. It's just all vapor and you have to be careful because you don't know how many vapors <laughs> you can safely take. You just don't know. <laughs> I was four, five bags in before I realized, nigga, you have made a terrible mistake. <laughs> this shit, you might want to, uh, you might not want to find out how high you can actually get. Just take it from me. You might really embarrass yourself <laughs> to yourself if you ain't careful. You don't want to be a grown motherfucking man in your own car, in the driveway, with a white beater on and some jogging pants, crying with a lap full of bills, crying the Lil Wayne songs and shit. Cause he <laughs> rapping, he's sick when he rapping. You just in the car, just, if I don't do nothing, I'm a ball. <laughs> I count all day like a couple of Good, give you money, then took a bag for Look in the left mirror. I ain't never read from the dick I had that thing. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, guys, that was awesome, man. I love Cat Williams. And again, that was just another demonstration of why I absolutely love him. He's absolutely brilliant on point with everything he says, especially when he talks about weed, obviously, because weed is brilliant. Um, but yeah, guys, that was absolutely fantastic. I'm going to be doing... Um, Cat Williams on Steve Irwin, but get me some more cat, suggestion, cat suggestions down there. I'm going to try, whilst I kind of not ease myself back into it, but whilst I'm getting back into it, I'm going to try and just stick to about five or six comedians and get some serious content done for them. But from all the suggestions that I've had, but then then work my way into other ones as well, rather than just try and confuse the shit out of it, because uh, I've been burning the candle at both ends, which probably, not obviously why I caught COVID, obviously I caught COVID, so I was around, so that fucker that had COVID, but um, obviously it's not good running myself down and shit, so yeah, guys, really enjoyed it, absolutely fantastic, I'll see you in the next one, if you, if you like that, drop me a like and subscribe, see you in the next one, peace!